I've taken the microphone. Stephanie, I choose you! <laughs> this is a superpower. You're in San Francisco. Tell us what that experience has been like so far. I love San Francisco, favorite city in America. I'm from New York City. Big, big statement. Um, <laughs> I love San Francisco. I've been here three times already this year, and every time, amazing turnout, wonderful people, just so much love. Since Ash Ketchum has retired from the show, I've been have, experiencing an outpouring of love and an expression of how much the show has affected people's lives and what an inspiration Ash Ketchum has been to them. So it's really, it's very, very special. It's much more emotional now. Um, so yeah, a lot of tears. Uh, walk us through some of those emotions. Um, yeah, uh, there are folks who cry over the fact that Ash is no longer on the show and, and how much they're going to miss him and I have to like calm them down and tell them like, <laughs> you know, he lives in our hearts, he's with us forever, he's been around for 25 years and he, he lives with you, he's the reason that you're so motivated, he's the reason you're tenacious, like, you know. And would you say that you share some of those qualities? Absolutely, I've always been very tenacious and um, he helped me discover in playing him that I'm actually very adventurous and now I go to conventions nonstop and I'm basically addicted to this lifestyle. Now. Your whole life is a big crazy adventure. Yes, basically. Just, you know, region to region to region. Yeah. You've played such an iconic character for nearly two decades. Yeah. Tell us what that experience has been like. A time is a flat circle. I didn't realize it was such a long time until I said I started saying it all the time, like Ash Ketchum for the last 17 years, and that's, that's quite a number. So here we are. Was it everything that you expected it to be, or any challenges, any surprises along the way? I didn't have expectations. It's a, you know, you go into the booth and you record this character. I turn into a ten-year-old boy every time, and, and then I emerge a woman again. And um, it wasn't until I started seeing audiences and realizing how much of an impact the show has had that I started pondering that very question: like, what does this mean to you? And it's it's a great responsibility to to have all these children looking up to this character that I play and in turn kind of looking up to me in a way so um, I feel responsible for you know, yeah. inspiration of children yeah. be the very best. You have so many people coming out to see you obviously there's a pretty long line here of your fans um, how does that affect you? Um, I, I, I'm surprised I'm still every time I'm like really you guys love it so much and it's not because the show is the show is wonderful obviously it's um, the fact that they're coming out, the fact that they're here to meet the voice actor, to see what's behind the character, to experience like the chain, the difference between who I am as a person and the character I play. Everyone's kind of shocked to see who I am. And I'm like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a gremlin woman, so no. it's <laughs> in a good yeah. way, in a yes, good way. Yes, you know. you're endearing, you have character, personality. Yeah. And uh, tell us, too, what's next for you, because you have some projects lined up. Uh, yes, so I'm in Tokyo Revengers, which is on Hulu right now. I play Yuzuha in season two. Um, and then there are a bunch of things I can't talk about yet. I'm a little boring, but I'm working on my own film, ba loosely based on my experiences over the last 17 years. So, okay, yeah, that's, that's my main focus. Anything you can tease about that? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you would like to share with your fans here in the Bay Area? Um, Yes, study hard, straight hundreds please. Be the very best like no one ever was.